Good morning, today is Sunday and we are heading to the market. Sunday is my favorite day of the week. It is where I truly dedicate all of my food prep and all of my cooking for the week. I get really organized, I love it. I love Sundays. So a lot of people on my Snapchat this week have requested that I make a video and show you guys how to make almond butter and almond milk. They're so easy, so I'm gonna include them in today's vlog because they're really, so easy. <laughs> we're about to head off now and I'm gonna show you what we buy at the markets and even how much I spend at the markets. I can be the one to give all you need, yeah. Nobody's trying to take you away from me. There's no point in breathing, no. Oh, look at those puppies. I like your outfit today, babe. You look very hoodlum at the markets. <laughs> Don't break our trolley. We want to upgrade our trolley to that bad boy. We need to step up our game, babe. That's the machine. So this is our usual produce selection. There's a few little different stores you can go to, but this is our fave. <gasps> they got another one. Oh, it's a. Th oh, we need that. Need to upgrade, babe. Then again, they put onion stuff in their wheel. Oh no, there's an onion. They're having... Oh. No! No! <laughs> and not the orange! I'm seeing great difficulty with this Maybe trolley. this isn't the cart for us. No, it is. I think it's just the... Maybe not on bridges. Mm. <laughs> I've given Lewis the job of potatoes, bananas, and oranges. That's his shopping requirements today. I'm getting mushrooms. I've just unpacked everything. Let me show you our market haul. Avos, tomatoes, carrots, cucumbers, tangerines, lemon, lime, banana, beetroot, sweet potato, potatoes, garlic, Brussels sprouts, onions, I've got mushrooms, I've got rocket, I've got some beautiful medjool dates, apples and pumpkin and I've got eight kilos of oranges here. So all of this stuff, not including the strawberries, cost me $74. That's it. Oranges are in season at the moment so they were pretty cheap and they're just so beautiful and juicy so I'm gonna eat these and juice them this week. And this will last us the entire week. Now, my strawberries. These were five for 20 and I wish you guys could smell them. Oh, it's so good. So, an extra 20 for my strawberries, but you may not buy five punnets. I'm making strawberry jam this week and again, these berries are in season, so I'm a big believer in buying the fruits and vegetables that are in season and really consuming them when you're meant to and when nature provides them for us. So this is the majority of our groceries for the week. We really try and buy as much as we can at the market, purely because it's cheaper. It is so much cheaper buying it at a farmer's market than it is even at Fundies and Ray's. Fundies and Ray's are great because they're organic supermarkets, but they do mark up the prices of your fresh produce because they need to make a profit as well. But if you buy it, directly from the farmers themselves, it's so much cheaper. Oh man, I'm really excited to cook today. So along with these groceries, we also purchase a heap of nuts during the week. So these are some of my essential things that I always have to have in the kitchen. So cashews, almonds, spelt flour, oats, and rapidurous sugar as well, which is pure organic unrefined sugar, which is really, really good. Over here I have my sauerkraut which is ready for me to take out today and I've also been attempting to make some kombucha. <gasps> look at that bug, mmm, doesn't that look good? So I'm gonna burp that today and have a sip as well. That's been sitting there for a few days now. It's probably almost ready, we want a few more bubbles. But my sauerkraut has been sitting there for a week. So that's ready to change into a smaller glass, smaller jar and start eating. Mm. I'm gonna make banana bread today and I'm gonna make almond butter and I'm gonna make almond milk. So the next thing I need to do is soak some almonds. If you feel you're sinking 
king, I will jump right over into cold, cold water for you. And all the time may take us into different places. So I've got three cups of almonds here soaking and that will make a couple of liters of almond milk as well. So I'm gonna do chocolate and vanilla. I'm gonna let that soak for a few hours. I probably won't get to it till um, late this afternoon slash this evening. Um, you can soak them overnight if you want as well. I bought a heap more jars yesterday as well. I was just drying them out in the sun. I'm gonna bring them in now and stock them up with all my nuts and seeds. So first up, I'm gonna make the strawberry jam. I'm just gonna use two punnets for my strawberry jam. I don't want to make too much and I want to keep these nice and fresh for smoothies this week. I will still be patient with you. If you're still in the position where buying 100% organic is a little bit too expensive for you, that's okay. I do highly recommend though, looking into what you can get organic and what you can afford. For example, berries and potatoes are two of the most deadliest and oversprayed fresh produce conventionally. So if you can, try and buy at least berries and potatoes organic. And they do sell organic ones at Woolworths and Coles. I'll link down below, there's a whole list, I think it's called the Deadly 10, and they're the fruits and vegetables that are sprayed the most conventionally that are really, really good if you can get organic. So I've just transferred my sauerkraut that I made last Sunday into a smaller container. It's beautifully fermented. It's been sitting and fermenting for the last week. So I had the core and some leaves on top, kind of like a plug. So I've just taken them all out and thrown away and I've got the really yummy flavorsome bit at the bottom here. And if you watched my Snapchat last Sunday, you would have seen me make this sauerkraut. It literally cost me $3.50 for half a head of cabbage and I've got my own sauerkraut, and this will last us months. Sauerkraut is nature's number one form of natural probiotic, so what an amazing thing to provide for your family and really get into it. If you can start loving sauerkraut and finding a flavor that you love, it is so, so, so good for you. Really good for your gut and your gut bacteria. I've added carrot to this one, so it's just carrot and cabbage, cumin, salt and pepper but you can do beetroot, you can do pumpkin, you can literally do whatever you want in your sauerkraut and it is so, so, so yummy. <laughs> My strawberries are breaking down beautifully. I'm gonna give them a little bit more and then I'll add in some sugar and some lime juice. Mmm, smells so good though. Mmm. banana bread and snicker slice if you haven't tried my snicker slice yet you're missing out I will link the recipe below but I'm gonna do that right now so for it you need a food processor I'm gonna use the thermo you can use a blender whatever you want but it is so easy and truly 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 so 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 yummy snicker slice done in the freezer licking the bowl is very much encouraged mm. So good. Okay, next up I've made some banana bread, but I don't actually have a banana bread loaf, so I'm making banana muffins. And I've got walnuts, oats, and a little bit of that rapido sugar to put on top, just as sort of like a little coating, a little crust, so that they're extra yummy. And just give it a little push into the mixture. I've actually got a heap of batter left over, so I'm just gonna keep doing batches because I've only got the one tray. It's gonna sound really weird, but sauerkraut and peanut butter on toast is the best combo. So I got homemade sauerkraut and a bread that we just bought and peanut butter. Mm. Mm. Oh, and this is the jam we made. I made. Look, isn't it cute? Strawberry jam. Homemade strawberry jam. Mm. Yum. This one, Mama? Yum. Yep. Oh, peanut butter jelly. Yeah, we could have peanut butter jelly sandwich. What do you think of this homemade sauerkraut? Really good. Good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, that looks so good. It's a rich red, hey. Mm. How is it? Mm. Oh, <gasps> fucking good. <well. laughs> really happy with how my banana muffins turned out. Now, yeah, like I said, you can do them in a normal banana bread loaf tray, but I don't have one, so I just did the same thing, but in muffin tray. Mm, but they look so cute. Kept some here in a container. They'll be the ones that we'll eat during the week, and the rest of these I'm putting in the freezer for us to get out when we want. <laughs> Hopping into the afternoon now. Lewis is using our new air fryer. He's making some potato gems, and he's gonna 
Make me some healthy whole food potato wedges, aren't you, baby? Tater tots. Tater tots. And I am gonna show you guys how to make almond milk and almond butter. Firstly, I've got two cups of almonds just out on a tray like this. And I've got my oven preheating at 150 degrees. So we're gonna roast these almonds for about 20 to 25 minutes on 150 degrees, just so the oils come out and they just smell and the color changes a little bit. Mm, ready for the almond butter. While these almonds are roasting, we're then gonna make our almond milk. So for the almond milk, I'm adding one cup of almonds that I've had soaking for a few hours to five cups of filtered water. That's the first step. <laughs> I'm gonna make a vanilla batch first. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla essence, a pinch of salt, and two medjool dates just to add a little bit of sweetener. Look at it, that's my milk. And yeah, make sure you taste as you go so you know if you need to add a little bit more sweetener, a little bit more vanilla, a little bit more salt, so you can get the proportions all okay. That's pretty bang on, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's gonna be like our base milk. And then I'm gonna make chocolate milk. Mm. <laughs> I hope you filmed that. It did. So you're gonna need a big bowl and a nut bag. I've turned mine inside out, and I'm just gonna pour all my milk now into that nut bag. And then you just repeat the process for your chocolate milk. Or you could make, we could make strawberry milk, babe. Yeah, let's do it. So easy, huh? And I just put that in the fridge. But yeah, now I'm gonna make chocolate milk. So all I'm gonna add to it is cacao powder. So same thing, two dates, vanilla essence, salt, five cups of water to one cup of almonds. But I'm gonna add cacao powder as well to make it chocolatey. Mm. Onto the almond butter. Now I've let my nuts completely cool, but you can still hear them. They're like crackling, but they are really cold. I can touch the pan. It's not hot at all. So I'm going to add them straight into my thermo mix, and that's it. Almond butter is one ingredient, almonds, and that is it. You just blitz it until the consistency that you want. I have an old container here of last week's almond butter that I made, so I'm just going to add it straight into there. All right, now I'm gonna keep blitzing this for a little bit longer, but look at that consistency. Wow, you just want all those oils to come out. That's the air fryer done. <laughs> that is my almond butter all done. I'm gonna let that sit out on the bench. But check out our milks. I've got vanilla, two types of vanilla, chocolate, and we even made iced coffee almond milk. Look at all that from three cups of activated almonds. So much milk. And Lewis has just made us some really yummy guacamole and air fried chips for dinner. My battery is about to die, but thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you got a lot out of our, my food prep Sunday. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll try and write the instructions on how to make almond butter and almond milk down below. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye.